Hello there, I'm Chef Johnny, and this is Texas Style Cuisine. Appreciate you stopping by. Today, we're having a flashback back to the 70s. I uh, was talking about one of these the other day, and I saw one, and I said, you know what? I'm going to get one of those and cook some hot dogs on it. But the other day, I ordered a uh, Presto hot dogger. <laughs> well, I'll give you a close-up. I don't know how many of y'all used these before. But it, it was still in the box, never used. So this thing may not work. I may have to get a pan and boil these hot dogs. Either that or fire up the Weber grill or something. But anyways, cord still rolled up. It was still in the plastic bag. I got it out. I've washed all this, put it together. And I called and I actually asked the lady, hey, does it work? She says, well, I don't know. It's all, it's unused. And you can't find out if it's working unless there's a hot dog because it heats from prong to prong and it uses the moisture inside the hot dog as the uh, connection. And that's how it heats up your hot dog. So we're going to find out. We're going to plug this in, see if it works. And if it does... We are going to make some hot dogs tonight in the Presto Hot Doggers, so stick around. So tonight, everything kind of old school except for the hot dogs themselves, I guess. I have washed this and cleaned it. Uh, I got some uh, hot dogs there, uh, Texas Heritage, uh, jalapeno and a longhorn cheddar one. So I started to get bar S. That way it'd be really flashback to the 70s all the way. But uh, this was the meal deal the night were these uh, hot dogs. So we went down to HEB and we got the meal deal. So we're going to cook up some jalapeno and some cheddar hot dogs for everyone. But what you do is, is you stick it in each end so we can get here where y'all can see. And you just push it onto the little spikes. So push it into this spike. The center of your hot dog. I tell you what, I ate many a hot dog growing up out of the hot dogger. My, my mom got one of these and I could cook a hot dog or about three of them in about 30 seconds. So I about wore one of these out when we were growing up. Only cooks, this only cooks uh, five. So I uh, say it cooked a half, it cooks five of them. So we're gonna go three and two, two cheddar, Three jalapeno. Looks like these cheese ones are a little bit long. So back on there. Back on that one. Let's see if the other ones will slide in. Yep, they'll slide in. I'm going to take my cord now, and all you do is just plug it in. If it heats up, it still works. Now, I'll tell you, I probably paid more for this and uh, getting it shipped down here than it cost originally when my mom bought one. Back in 70s, whenever it was, we had them. I know I was uh, probably junior high or something like that, but we're going to see. Used to, it didn't take very long at all for these to heat up. So let's wait a minute and see if we get a hot dog out. Now, my wife wanted a chili dog tonight. So another part of the meal deal they had at HEB was Hormel chili. So we're going with canned chili tonight. Nothing fancy around here other than these fancy hot dogs we got. That's there. Stove's going. Heat that up for her chili dog. And I tell you what, we're getting steam. So this is starting to steam up. So I'm going to say hot dogs are heating. Ooh, that pot was getting hot in a hurry. Stir my chili around a little bit. Those hot dogs are There's no on and off switch. You just plug it in and it goes to work. I hear them starting to pop. So I'm going to unplug it. I would say they're all cooked. And that was a lot faster than my chili's boiling but it's starting to boil that pan was pretty hot so we've got hot chili stir that around a little more let it keep heating I'm gonna take the lid off we have some plump hot dogs in here we'll find out how they how they cooked up take our hot dog buns open them up lay them on this hot griddle I got over here that one's not quite sliced open all the way. There we go. Hold on. Open up for me now to toast that up. Let's take our first hot dog out of the hot dogger here. My wife wanted to do hers first. Now they are going to come out curved. I do remember that about them. But they're not hard to straighten back out. So we're going to. Put a little uh, French's mustard. I love French's, so 
mustard's on. Our hot dog is in there. Going to come with some chili on top of that for her. Chili dog's not a really good chili dog unless it's a little messy, I don't think. Plenty of cheese on top. And some fresh cut onion. Dog number one is ready. Let's work on our next one. I'm going to go with one of the cheese ones on this one. Right there. Mustard across. Relish. I like sweet relish on mine. Chopped onion. There we have it. We got a chili dog, just a regular dog with uh, mustard and cheese and relish cooked on our Presto hot dogger. We're gonna give this hot dog a try off of our hot dogger. Uh, this is the, the cheese hot dog with, uh, I got relish, onions, cheese on it, and of course French is mustard. And y'all have heard me talk about family before, you know, I, I, yeah, I'm real sentimental about my family, but uh, reminds me of mama, so I'm going to enjoy this one a lot. I tell you, it's a steamed hot dog. Nothing wrong with it. I heard somebody, I was listening to some YouTube shows and somebody was talking about them having a metallic taste to them after you cooked them and that caused the electricity passing through them. Oh, not sure if I taste that in there, but just the memories taste wonderful. I promise you that. And now the chili dog. So we can get it up. This ought to be nice and messy. I tell you now, that jalapeno hot dog, nothing wrong with that at all. Ooh, and I got chili right down the front of my shirt. I'm gonna be in trouble. We can wipe that off a little bit. But uh, I told you a while ago, chili dogs weren't good unless they were messy. Now, the Hormel chili, I tell you what, probably not the best chili I ever had in my life, but it came free with the meal deal at HEB. Got two packages of hot dogs, and I got a free package of cheese. I got a, a free can of uh, Hormel chili, and I got a free package of buns. So all I had to do was buy the hot dogs tonight. So that's what we did, but... I tell you, a lot of good memories. I remember cooking up a lot of hot dogs with the Presto hot dogger. I don't know how many more times I use it. It'll probably just go up on the shelf and something for me to remember of my childhood. But anyways, he cooked them up fine. They tasted great. Hope you enjoyed this short little video. Hope you enjoyed this little flashback of the 70s with the Presto hot dogger. And if you did, give me that thumbs up. Tell your friends and family about it. Share us on your social media. And we're going to see you all down the road on Texas style barbecue and cuisine. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen